Hello everybody. My name is Zainab El Farsi. I'm working as clinical nurse specialist in gastro department. In this educational video, I'm going to talk about nasogastric tube insertion for an adult patient. After the doctor assesses the patient and takes the decision for nasogastric tube insertion, he or she should take the consent from the patient or the relatives. The items needed for NGT insertion are kidney tray, clean gloves as it is unsterile procedure, NGT tube with a specific size, KY gel, tip syringe, 50 ml, stethoscope, spigot, adhesive tape, and scissor. The first step, the nurse will identify the patient and explain the procedure to the patient or to the relative. Wash hands before the procedure and position the patient into upright position. Assess which nostril will be used for the insertion. Then we'll measure the length of tube needed for insertion from the bridge of the nose to ear loop to the bottom of the cyphoid process. Then we'll mark the required length of insertion. Hand rub, make the adhesive tape ready, put on gloves. The NGT tube will be lubricated by using KY gel. Then the nurse will insert the tube in the selected nostril and slide it backwards and inwards. Meanwhile, we'll ask the patient to swallow some water if possible, to aid the tube to pass smoothly till it reach the required length. Secure the tube by adhesive tape. Put on the spigot. Then we'll check the placement of the tube using the stethoscope by pushing about 30 ml of air and auscultate the stomach. Reposition the patient comfortably. Reassure the patient. Discard the material used. Then wash your hands and document the procedure in the electronic system. And here I want to emphasize the coming points. During the insertion of NGT tube, the nurse needs to monitor the patient condition for any resistance or obstruction that may occur. Coiling of the tube at the back of the mouth or continuous coughing in order to act immediately and accordingly. There are additional ways to check the placement of the NGT tube, such as aspirating the gastric content into a litmus paper to check the gastric acidity, or placing the nasogastric tube into a cup of water to check the bubbles, and the most reliable way to check the tube placement that we are practicing in Sultan Qaboos University Hospital is the x-ray. Lastly, the nurse should check the placement of the tube before each feeding. Here is the end of this educational video. Thank you for watching.